Okay, I just had the craziest month of my entire life, and thanks to Mega for sponsoring this video. This is a behind the scenes look at SDCC like you've never seen before, so let's jump right in, shall we? It all started in Montreal. For the past week, I'd been filming behind the scenes videos for Mega, and once that mission was complete, it was time to head to San Diego. Here we go, boys. We'll rest when the job is done. Ladies and gentlemen, New York Comic Con. It's such a pleasure to be here, and thank you so much for everyone who's made this opportunity a reality. San Diego? Oh, God. So our mission objective is San Diego in sunny California on the west coast of America, and I gotta tell you, it has always been a dream of mine to visit, but this is not where our story begins. No, 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 we're starting in Montreal, Canada. Folks, it seems the proverbial cat is out the bag. We're flying to San Diego Comic-Con, working at San Diego Comic-Con for five days. Ladies and gentlemen, 10.20 in the evening and my flight is at six in the morning to San Diego Comic-Con with the Mega team. Maximum three hours sleep. Working at Mega, just surreal. And now we're gonna get a few hours sleep at best and wake up for five days straight work at San Diego Comic-Con. Let's go everyone. <laughs> And flash forward to 2.40 in the morning. Better get a move on, punch it, chief. Oh. All right, so this is where the real fun begins. Our flights were canceled and we are running on no sleep. So we are desperately trying to find any replacement flight possible. Change uh, in New York. Change in Change New York. Change airports. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. It's New York. It's not happening. <laughs> So, by some random happen chance, we find ourselves in New York City. We made it to New York, York City! Because apparently we're in New York now. James, get out the shot! Six hours until our flight? I mean, I've never been to New York before. We're really seizing the moment considering our flight was cancelled. I mean, we arrived at the airport and it took us eight hours to even take a flight. So, we're just trying to get some W's right now. I mean, I just flew a plane, so that's a pretty big one. And I guess the second one will be seeing Lady Liberty. Let's go. All right, first team meeting of the trip. I just want to quickly introduce everybody. This is Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Andrea, Andrea. Andrea. Hi, everybody. I'm Andrea from Montreal, live from New York, and I'm marketing associate on the Mega Pokemon team. Uh-huh, and I gotta say, you're very enthusiastic about us being in New York. Hey everybody, I'm James. I'm on the copy communications team. Trademarks. When in New York, eat a bagel, eat a slice of pizza, buy a baseball cap, and see Lady Liberty. For the record, Andrea and I are against the bagel part. Mon yeah. Montreal bagels. I way better. Let's see where we end up. I just saw a sign for Manhattan. This is pretty crazy. In New York City. Big Apple. Land of the free. Land of opportunity. Yeah. Swapping out from Montreal to New York City. Speed run New York City. Tourist sightseeing and then straight to the airport. There she is, baby. Wow. An incredible statue in, in, in the name of freedom. In the name of freedom. In the name of freedom. We got a quick taxi to the airport. I felt the raw energy of New York. I shall be back again. There's a lot of baggage for one week, James. It's all empty. I'm gonna fill it up with swag. Ready to go. One o'clock in the morning, San Diego. Right. We made it to the hotel. I don't remember the last time I've been so tired. It's been a massive day. About 22 hours. I gotta tell you, the view is crazy. That is the convention center. View the next morning where I should hopefully be quite, quite well rested. It is 6 a.m. in beautiful San Diego, California. And this is my bedroom. That is the convention center. That's SDCC, everybody. The only thing left to do is get on with the show. Let's go. Here we go, boys. Look at this 
San Diego Comic Con. This is surreal. I, I can't even, my eyes cannot put this into terms. It is Thursday morning outside San Diego Comic Con and the mega team is ready. Come find us at the booth. It's going to be an incredible day. Hi. Hi. Here we go. We're entering the building. Nice. James, we're inside SDCC. I don't know how we got oh, here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow. <laughs> look at that. That's incredible. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Mega Showcase. I've been a collector of Mega products my entire life and never could have imagined that I'd be stood in their SDCC booth as a member of the team. Folks believe in something and the sky is the limit. It was amazing seeing tens of thousands of people reacting so positively to our booth. Our main contest for the weekend was guessing the number of pieces in our Magikarp big build and I'd love to hear your guesses down below. Welcome back to SDCC everyone. Today we've got a look at Motion Magikarp. This is an SDCC reveal. Today we're having a look at Floodgate Firefight, an awesome new product from Mega's catalog. The He-Man Masters of the Universe Power Sword. The Motion Charizard. The Aston Martin from the Mega Showcase Collection. This Hot Wheels item is incredible. Stay tuned with the domain for more sneak peeks. Now, while content creation at SDCC was a lot of fun, my favorite part of the entire experience came as a surprise to me. Towards the end of the second day, I decided to mix things up a little bit and I put a small black table on the show floor like next to the big build I sat down and I just started building the motion magic up this was not planned but it turned out to be so much fun so much fun in fact that once I'd finished building one I just started building the next and I did this for the rest of the event for the half of second day and then all of third and fourth day it was so genuinely lovely to be interacting with thousands of fans walking past. These are fans of my channel, fans of Mega, fans of the IPs, and they were so interested in seeing the actual SDCC reveal being built on the show floor. So I just kept on going, and I had kids helping me build it. I had a lot of people asking genuinely insightful questions, and being a primary school teacher myself, like it, engaging with the community like that is what I'm all about. Like it's not just the build, and the build was a lot of fun. It was the community engagement was just incredible. And also this motion magic up is so much fun. The way you crank that shaft and it actually yeah. flops, amazing. We did it. Really, I mean, can you believe we're closing off SCCC? No, no I don't. <laughs> What's your exact role at Mega, Phil? My role at Mega is I'm manager of the creative shops. Uh, his team is, uh, in fact, the master builders and we're the one that creating special builds for exhibitions, events. I'm taking three days off in San Diego. I am lying on the beach. I mean, here's to SDCC 2023, everyone. It's been a real pleasure, a real pleasure. Great guy to work with. Honestly, I just feel so blessed. Thanks to Mega for sponsoring this video. I'll see you next time, folks.